Downtown Macon business leaders want people to keep their cigarette butts off the streets and put them to good use. Pepper Baker shows us where to find those new recycling bins and how backers say the effort will help the environment. Seeing cigarette butts on public streets is like seeing old gum, but Prentice Rutledge thinks it's gotten out of hand. I mean, you can look at the cracks just along the sidewalk here and I can't even count on my hand how many cigarette butts you can see. His friend Tommy Superior is from New York where he says keeping the streets clean is a challenge with all of those people. And if Macon continues to grow. You really got to be ahead of the problem instead of being on the back end. So maybe, you know, we have a nice medium populace here where we could uh, be uh, proactive instead of counteractive. That's why Jean Bragg from the Business Improvement District partnered with Newtown Macon to pilot a cigarette recycling bin at the beginning of the year. Newtown experimented by buying just a small one and putting it on the building at Piedmont, uh, the old Silvers building, and we found that a lot of people used it. They went on to install 20 more around downtown Macon by the end of July. The property owners in downtown Macon pay an additional five mils a year to support the activities of the Business Improvement District, and this is their money at work. Bragg says they'll send the butts to a company that buys them by the pound. They can recycle these to make frisbees and plastic furniture and other items. Rutledge is happy business leaders are encouraging people to keep making clean. As you're walking by and you have the cigarette in your hand and you just happen to catch it out of the corner of your eye, you're like, hey, I might want to keep this street clean. You know, it's my hometown. I want to have the street beautiful. Maybe other people want to have that beautiful street, you know? In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, Bragg says the larger bins cost $200, the smaller ones $100 a piece. And they're working to add 20 more bins in downtown Macon.